I did not think I would win because there was a, I was competing against the whole country. And there's a lot of talented people. That is Chloe Willis. She's a sixth grader in New Iberia, celebrating her win from the Lowell Milken Center for Unsung Heroes. Willis says she won the Outstanding Elementary School Project on her research and documentary. Her focus, her great-grandfather, Reverend Dr. T.J. Jemison. Jemison led the Baton Rouge bus boycott in 1953, later influencing Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. to hold a bus boycott in Montgomery, Alabama. Our Katie Easter reports on the 11-year-old who's now feeling that influence. There is a sentence that said, I wish that I had family that would be influenced in be an influencer in the civil rights movement. And that's when my mom introduced my great grandfather to me and showed me the picture of Martin Luther King Jr. standing next to him. Jefferson Island Road Elementary student Chloe Willis says after studying the civil rights movement in third grade, she found out about her great grandfather, Reverend Dr. TJ Jemison. I feel like that I can make even bigger change from his actions that he did in the civil rights movement. Jemison organized a protest for equal seating on Baton Rouge buses in 1953. The bus boycott did not end segregation on buses, but did allow black people to sit down. The protest led to the bus boycott in Montgomery, Alabama, two years later. I didn't realize how much he had done to the world. When Willis's teacher found out about her connection, the two put together a 10 minute documentary for a national competition that showcases unrecognized local heroes. When I found out that he influenced Martin Luther King Jr., I thought that he should be known too because he influenced him to do it. And if he didn't do a bus boycott, I don't think Martin Luther King Jr. would have done one. I think that I would like that if he would live until like 2016 at least because when I, if I was six, I would probably know much more than just Maybe ABCs. <laughs> Jemison died when Willis was only three years old, but his story inspiring her future. I think I would be a pediatrician, and I'm hoping to find a cure for cancer. In New Iberia, Katie Easter, KTC, TV3.